Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will discuss the topic, the exclusive topic of Horus Heresy starter kits and why it's odd that uh, Warhammer or Games Workshop does not release a starter set for the Horus Heresy. And uh, this is all under the hashtag bring back calf, so I'm not the first person who talks about this topic, but I shall bring some examples to you why it's odd that Games Workshop has never released a starting set for the Horus Heresy. So, my points are as follows. There is starter sets for multiple Games Workshop games, specialist games, that also have their most, their more, let's say, how do you say it, their more specialist models from Forge World, like Blood Bowl, Titanicus, and Aeronautica Imperialis, and so on. Blood Bowl is even getting a second edition, and I've never seen someone play Blood Bowl in my life. This is not an indictment on the Blood Bowl community, but this shows that GW is very much supporting their specialist games. For example, let's go not as far as you think. We go to the Adeptus Titanicus Horus Heresy starter kit. It has multiple titans and two knights. It has two reavers, two warhounds and two knights. This is an awesome set because it's um, it has everything you need to play and it's a two player starter box. Considering that this are ju the, that these are just like I would say four dreadnought sized models, four contemptor dreadnought, dreadnought sized models, and two terminator sized models. Some people would say it's it's an expensive set, but it's really not because the parts the mo the, the amount of parts you get from the models is amazing. So 120 euros. This is the Adeptus Titanicus starter kit. Uh, kit. It's also mainly pushed by Forge World, and it has a starter kit, uh, starter kit for uh, that you can buy. It's it has it had the Grandmaster edition, and I think you can still buy the Grandmaster edition. But that wasn't really a starter kit. That was more like a launch kit, a launch. Uh, a kit that uh, that should uh, propel the launch of uh, Titanicus, and that sold out at a price point of two hundred and thirty euros. So, um, I would say, okay, Forge World is the main distributor, or not the main distributor, but they do they do make the models for Titanicus, and they do make the rules for Titanicus. That's why they only come in English. So why can't we have a 120 euro starter kit for the Horus Heresy? Maybe one where maybe one where you can have two player games or one where you build one uh, one army of because from the Titanic starter kit you can build one Titan Manipul or two Demi Manipuls to have balanced games but you can buy this set to start with a friend. So um I don't get it. It's very odd. I mean, the Titanicus kit, awesome. It has the rule book. It has the Titan terminals. It has the weapon cards. It has dice. It has a range ruler. It has templates. It has everything, basically, what you need to play a Titanicus game. For 120 euros, the models may be not the, as overwhelming as you think, but I think it's a fair price for, for this game. Also... The Titanicus starter kit is not set in a specific setting, like the Betrayal at Calf or the Burning of Prospero. I get a lot of people think these were Horus Heresy starter kits, and I do also think that the people at GW weren't delusional at all while designing those kits, and I think they were pretty much sure that the people would use these kits to start Horus Heresy armies. But they were never designated as starter kits. But the community used them as such. Because let's be honest. That was all they used. Has anyone ever on this planet played the Betrayal at Calf game? Or the Burning at Prospero game? Yeah. 
me neither. So <laughs> I guess uh, that argument is pretty much uh, uh, pretty much uh, down the drain. But the Titanic starter kit very awesome, and it's a very popular game. I don't know if it's more popular than the Heresy, but the community I would say. Ha- Titanicus has an awesome and lovely community. Uh, I would never say anything bad about it, but I think the Horus Heresy community is at least on par. Let's take a look at the other starter kits, for example. The Necromunda Dark Uprising starter kit. This is maybe for... kind of like the second edition Necromunda, and it is 230 euros. Just like the Grandmaster edition, and people still buy this game. I don't say Necromunda is an awesome game, you should try it, but if Games Workshop has the guts to pull a 230 euro starter kit for Necromunda, uh, put a 230 euro starter kit for Necromunda into the box, uh, into the, not, into a box, yes, and sell it through their store, I ask myself, why don't they make a starter kit for the Horus Heresy. For example, you have a lot of models, uh, a lot of plastic models you can use. Put in two tactical squads, put in Terminator squad, a Terminator squad, put in a the plastic characters, and put in the Dreadnought of the... Um, the Contemptor Dreadnought, yes, sorry. Or a plastic Dreadnought, a new one, maybe. Uh, plastic uh, Castafarum Dreadnought and put in the rulebook. I know the rulebook is sold primarily through through Games Workshop, but I mean, putting the book in isn't that bad. Fort World. I mean, come on, Games Workshop is your parent company, so their financial success is tied to yours, and yours is tied to them. So, I don't think that would be a big problem. Um, so, you put the 20 Marines, uh, the two characters, the Terminator Squad and the Dreadnought into the box. The rule book, some dice and some, uh, and some templates. And you could easily have a 120 euro starter set, for example, for the Horus Heresy. It, w- it would be a mini calf. And it wouldn't have the value of health, but to be honest, that's what you kind of can expect now. Uh, because I don't think we will ever get a, uh, a set as awesome as the Betrayal at Kalth or the Burning of Prospero. But I think the Burning of Prospero was only better for Space Wolf players or for Thousand Sun players. For players of all other legions, the set wasn't as good, but still great. And... There's also a starter kit for Aeronautica Imperialis. This game has also seen two start, starter kits. So I don't see any problem. So you can basically add there's a Blood Bowl starter kit and pro- possibly a new Blood Bowl starter kit, like I said before with the second edition. You can, every Games Workshop game, you can somewhere have a starter kit and start the game. And find your way in, but for the third, uh, for the third biggest game, I would say, uh, the Horus Heresy. Uh, there's no such uh, such thing. I mean, at some point, um, I'm I'm not, I'm not not trying to get your hopes up. To uh, that, there could be, would be, maybe a starter kit but sometimes you have to demand something from the supplier like the scissors of battle um like the scissors of battle for example they got a full rewrite awesome new models new codex and whatever and that's why i ask you the community and everyone that listens to my videos basically um to get to gw Tell them, bring back Kalth, or at least something that is a starter kit for the Horus Heresy. Because I have never seen a game community 
that has not the greatest support from the company that's so passionate about the game. My channel is not the best example because it's quite s small, but there's other so but there's other so awesome and big channels that pour all their heart and their energy into the Horus Heresy and want to help you start the game, just like my channel. We, the Horus Heresy community, are as passionate as passionate as they come. We love our game. We love your models, Forge World. We just want because we need new blood. We want a starting point for new players in the Horus Heresy that is outside the hands of the community and in the hands of the company that actually makes the game. And the Mark III starter kit that is s sold on Forge World lacks a rule book, it lacks dice, it lacks a range ruler, and it's also just 20 marines, a leviathan and two characters. I think when you use this as a starting point, you could you could do, definitely use this as a starting point, but as as it is, it costs 180 euros, and for 20 marines and a dreadnought and two characters, that is quite a lot to ask for people that are new uh, to the game and want to get in. So this is basically a follow up to Kirio and all the other channels that did uh, betray a big bring back health video. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for sticking with me. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, share this video with your friends. Join our Discord. Join the discussion about all of the Games Workshop games really on our server. And uh, thank you and goodbye. Stay healthy.